Hey guys, today we're gonna look about one of the most commonly used electrical component that is capacitor. So you might wonder what is it and how does it work and what is its use. Well in this video we're gonna look all those doubts and clarify it and also see the working of a capacitor in the end of the video. So just stay tuned till the end of the video. Now before getting into the uh, working principle, let's just see a difference between the capacitor and the battery as both stores energy. Well, uh, uh, a capacitor stores uh, and releases its energy in a fast way, whereas battery does it in a slow way. Uh, storage capacity in a capacitor is very much less when compared to the battery. And one of the other important difference is that a capacitor uses electrical field to store its energy, whereas battery uses chemical energy. Okay, now let's just take a look at the working principle. So a capacitor is made up of uh, two parallel plates bit, uh, uh, separated between uh, mater insulating material called the dielectric. Over here, the dielectric is a ceramic disc, whereas it's different for different uh, types of uh, capacitors. So um, when we connect a battery across the capacitor, as you can see over here to the plate one, the positive side is connected to the plate one and the negative side is connected to the plate two. And it's been separated as I already said by a dielectric, which acts as an insulating material for between these plates. So the, now the potential of the battery is applied across the uh, capacitor, as you can see over here. At this situation, plate one is in positive potency with respect to the plate two. Uh, at steady state condition, the current from the battery rises to flow through this capacitor from its positive plate to the negative plate. But actually, because of the presence of this insulating material that is the dielectric, it can't pass through. So, an electrical field, um, you know, gets created across the capacitor. As you can see, electrical field gets created between a positive and a negative set of ions. So, as time goes on, uh, as you can see in this picture, already I have shown like all the charges has been uh, charged. So, uh, uh, you know, and the negative side has also been filled. So, the time taken for, you know, the accumulation of all the charges in a capacity till the capacitance value of this particular capacitor, it is called the charging uh, time or the charging capacity of the capacitor. So now after a certain time, uh, you can uh, see from this picture, uh, uh, if you take the battery out, the potential has been created over the bat uh, capacitor and, and it can be applied to any load so that the stored energy gets transferred to the load. So it is also take, uh, take some time, uh, you know, uh, a current will flow through this load from plate 1 to plate 2 until all the charges gets released and this uh, time span is known as the discharging time of the capacitor. Okay, so you might wonder what is the use of the capacitor if it is exactly the same use as the ba battery, right? Well, once this, uh, well, one of the use is that in many cases uh, uh, you can't uh, switch off a circuit suddenly which this disturbs the presence of a low, you know the changes in the load so in those cases a capacitor is used so that it produces a gradual uh, you know uh, uh, switching on or off uh, you know for the um, starting for a many for the load or many appliances one of the main common things is we use a capacitor in our tube lights also in our fans well, we also see some real life uh, examples in the end of the video. So, uh, I guess it's been uh, boring and, uh, you know, uh, listening to all my uh, theory stuff, right? Okay, so let's, let's um, see some capacitor in action. Alright, so uh, uh, you can see I've logged on into the uh, tinkercad.com. Uh, this is one of the most... Uh, easiest and more uh, you know user friendly software for you know designing circuits uh, you know online so you can also log on to the tickercad.com and just log in with your google account and then you can just get started so as you can see you have lots of uh, you know uh, um, these kind of um, components here you can just drag and place it out here uh, you know and then just connect it uh, by dragging uh, with your mouse and all those stuff so I already have created uh, a circuit for the capacitor. So let's just see the uh, components list. Uh, well, this is the components list. Uh, there's a two 330 ohm resistors and a one uh, two, two, 2200 microfarad 16 volt polarized capacitor. Well, uh, don't get scared for this term. There's nothing but the 2200 microfarad just says the how much charge it can hold. 16 volts just say that you can't operate the particular capacitor more than 16 volts. Okay, so and then two LEDs and a two switch and a one nine volt battery to power up the circuit. 
okay so um, and all those components uh, if you want to do it in hardware it's also very easily available uh, you can also i'll be also showing a hardware video in the end, the end of the you know session and you will have a much better idea okay let's just start the simulation over here uh, before the simulation I just explain the circuit uh, the i call you know the, the top of the circuit as the charging uh, you know circuit and the down part as the uh, discharging circuit i call this as the charging led this as the discharging led uh, so as you can see this LED is not connected to your battery. It's actually connected to the capacitor uh, Okay, even the, this side is also just connected to the capacitor it's not to the battery. So it's like two parts of the uh, You know uh, circuit. So let's just start the simulation and just see and actually you can also change the different uh, Variations for each of these, you know, you can choose the color and all those stuff You can play with this thinker cat. Just try it out. Okay. So as I start the simulation, if I switch it on, you can see the LED just glowed on, right? And now then it just dimmed off. That's because the capacitor actually charges, uh, you know, um, uh, the, the capacitor has charged its uh, to the scaffold capacity and it's not allowing the further flow of the uh, current to flow through as I already said, right, in the explanation video. Now let's just switch it off and then, uh, you know, that's kind of like, since I have told the capacitor stores its energy, if I switch it on, the LED should glow. So let's see if it goes or not, okay? And yeah, as you can see, the LED just glows off. And as the charge gets, uh, you know, uh, reduced, you can see the LED just dimmed it off. Uh, I think uh, you will have a much better idea if I show it in the hardware part. Okay, guys, uh, this is the exact same circuit that you saw in your previous Tinker CAD. This I've done it in the hardware section, that's it. I know you can see the same two 330 ohm resistors and then LEDs and then switches and the same 2200 uh, microfarad capacitor and a 9 volt battery. So let's see some capacitor in action. So when I power it off, as I already said, the charging LED has, you know, gets, you know, uh, glowed. So because you can see that the capacitor is charged. Since it gets charged, uh, you know, it's not allowing the moment of current to complete. So let's see whether uh, you can discharge the uh, energy that has been stored. So I removed the 9 volt battery. Now let's see whether this works, the capacitor works as a discharging unit right now. And there you go. As you can see, uh, the, the stored energy has been transferred. And as time goes on, you can see uh, the charges get released and you can see uh, the light has uh, dimmed off. So hope you have understood guys uh, the difference between the charging of a capacitor and the discharging of a capacitor. Let's see some real life examples uh, of capacitors. One is the power factor correction in your uh, you know uh, power systems uh, and your uh, uh, substations the grid. Uh, and another one is your uh, normal uh, you know you would have seen your radios where you can easily tune right and the, you know for tuning the frequency at particular uh, uh, you know uh, waves you want you can use a capacitor and an inductor which is nothing but an LC circuit to tune it. And other important use I already said is energy storage and also in common appliances like uh, uh, fans and uh, uh, tube lights and to make sure that there is no sudden change in uh, uh, you know uh, change in the supply of voltage. So that's all for the video guys.